Okay, so if you are between 30 and 40 and you still living in public housing in Section 8, listen up. What you doing? Like, what you doing? No, serious. What you doing? Exactly what she was talking about is the same cycle. Now they're living in the senior places. Which, which is from crazy. the people with the same poverty mindset some um, there too yeah they've been on the food stamps and they've been in section eight all their life now they in the 55 and up and or i 60 get it and up I and get it. Like, it's, it's know, all the same cycle they're right. like, oh, well, when i get my stamps so listen lady shall we slide to uh video number number two Dude, yeah, sure all right all right let me get it let me get it set up because i don't have a set up oh thanks my to, gosh thanks why, to why, uh, why? Honey dip He's tea over ready. here. Yeah, He's yeah, not camera ready. came on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's not That's a, we, we can fill in the blanks. Why he getting ready? Why he getting ready? We can fill in the blanks. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Any, anyway, anywho. <laughs> so we got video number two, y'all. Oh, yeah. All right. If you're in your thirties and forties living in public housing or Section Eight, you need to watch this. Uh oh. <laughs> What's about we about to get triggered up in this bad boy? Mm-hmm. You know, kick it off. It's Fish mm-hmm. Podcast. Oh, let's go. <laughs> okay, so if you are between thirty and forty, and you still living in public housing in Section Eight, listen up. What you doing? Like, what you doing? No, serious. What you doing? See, I don't know how long you've been there. Maybe you just got there. I, I, I. I don't know where you've been, that you've been on a good foot and then you step backwards to go on the Section 8 public housing. Now, am I just thrashing these programs? No. Are they actually good? Only if you use it to get to the next level, which is difficult um, if you have integrity and actually a vision. Very difficult. However, if you are between the ages of 30 and 40 and you've been in housing for like five years and you ain't, you don't have no degree, no certifications, or you still don't know what you want to do, then my question is, what you doing? Like, really, what you doing? (sighs) My God. Listen, I cannot even tell you. All the housing authorities that we go to, y'all need to fast forward your lives. Look outside your neighborhood and look at, God bless them. I love them. God knows I am not making fun of our seniors. Bless them. Bless them, Lord. Bless their whole heart, okay? But just look, look. Why most of the these projects have older African American women? Most of them are, you know, we suffering from obesity. Hell, I suffer from it, okay? And then just like hopeless, they're looking defeated, looking like life done passed them by, you know. Like look fast forward the tape, fast forward it. Y'all know how we do women. We fast forward the day on film to see how this thing going to end. Well, look outside your window. The ones that sitting outside, half of them, the ones that ain't got nothing else to do but sit outside all day, that's going to be you in 10 years if you do not get on the good foot. Now, somebody going to be real pissed off at this, and I don't even care because I, I am depressed when I go to these housing authorities. I am utterly depressed. I'm like, Jesus Christ, what's happening? Get your tail. If you are in your 30s and your 40s living in public housing, you better be in somebody's FSS program, Family Self-Sufficiency, somebody's roles program. You need to be in somebody's Department of Labor, Workforce Development, getting a certification, somebody's community college, getting a degree. You need to be looking at Section 3, trying to open up your own business. What your kids going to do? You got teenagers running around here in these streets. Come on now. Stop. God is not pleased with that. That's not that's not the word of the Lord. It's not. If you're sitting at home and you between 30 and 40, and your day you sitting on a on the stoop outside, get God. Get him today. He he I, he actually he actually in in the in the uh in the courtyard. He out there. Go find him. Say, Lord, cry out, cry out, cry out. What we gotta do, Lord? What I don't know what we gotta do. Go look at the great escape. Find resources. Get busy on the good foot, y'all. Because if you think that it ain't going to be in exchange for that time of yours, if you think that that talent that God gave you, you could just sit on it, you're in trouble. You're in big trouble. Trouble, trouble. Don't do that. Hey, Ray, I got no goddamn talent. Everybody is born hey, with a talent. Everybody wish they had talent. Now, the question is, is if they use it or not. 
Mm-hmm. What ain't, well, Everyone is well, born with the talent. Well, what did the singer say? You got to use what you got to, <sighs> to get, get what, what you, you want. want. This is my issue. Mm, go if, ahead. If you want Section 8 or, or public housing, why why aren't you stacking money? You I mean, what? like just stacking you, you all of you. If you're paying $7 a month for rent, you should be just stacking I'm money. Say, not I, buying I, big ass TVs from, and not, shit. not from my example, but from people that I know, sometimes it's not that easy. Because living in, from the people that I know that have been like in Section 8 or on those public assistance programs, number one, the state don't make it easy sometimes for people to get ahead. They don't. Because the minute okay. you are the object on. This is for, not, for them to not get ahead. Right. That's so the, the thing issue. is, it's like they mm-hmm. get trapped. Oh, so they, 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 get they can stay on it? They get financially You earn $5 over whatever the heck. And then they're, they're taking you off. Is they taking you to hell off. Right. Or they so, increasing the rent or whatever. Right. Or, or and, mortgage. Because right. Section 8 does um, also assist with mortgages. But I agree with her wholeheartedly. Um, this type the the uh, public living situations are um, place. Don't, don't get me wrong. They do help people. But I agree that they should be leveraged as tools. Not for your entire life. Yeah, but then you have those mm-hmm. people that get complacent with yes, it. Yes, mentally. They get complacent with it. Mm-hmm. Then it's like, okay, you know what? I got this free. And then you know what? And then they start doing little side stuff. And then the money that they are getting, they <laughs> doing spend. Doing hair. Doing selling what? hair. Look, hey, because that's what I'm you saying. Do everybody, what you got to do. That's what I'm saying. Everybody has I a talent. I ain't mad at you. So I they, they are you. making their money. But it's like, okay, at the end of the day, they get their, their, their get they're like complacent with that cheap rent and it's like okay oh i can do this and i can do that and then the the, the state is paying for the utilities so they're basically living like free but once again it's like it's so but hard you're not stacking to get your bread it's but hard they, to but get they, out of that but trap. listen listen Especially but if you make like right now you making society, 15 dollars an hour how are you stacking anything with four kids especially in today's like, society it's designed to put them in a place and keep them in a place mm. right. oh, you know you know um I, I've, i'm in like a bunch of facebook groups and girls are like oh yeah i was door dashing i made a few dollars blah 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 and they didn't took my stamps like what like oh, she, right yeah like they and they do that like so and then it keeps people in the mentality of I can't be better because I'm going to end up homeless if I do. Yeah, and then you do have the it's, other it's side. Terrible. It's terrible. You have terrible. the other side of the mm-hmm. people who grew up like that. Right. That's what they're used to. Mm-hmm. So pretty much to them, if that's all they know, that's all they're going to do. Mm-hmm. Like if, if they knew better, they would do better. So mm-hmm. you got these people there. They're, they want to stay on that because their moms, their grandmoms, yep. and their aunts, their whole entire family right. is in a project. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah. what they're going to stay on there or on Section 8, whatever the case and their may mind be. their stay small. And that's where, right. Their because mind stay in the project. These programs do give these people resources. What I don't like. Yes, they do. What I don't mm-hmm. like is, is that there's no cutoff point. Mm-hmm. Because it's mm-hmm. like, okay, you on, you on this Section 8 program for 20 years. At what point? Are you going to say, you know what? You've done exhausted your funds. We got to take you off. They don't do that. The only cutoff point is if you make over this dollar amount now, we take it away from you. Okay, that's the that's the cutoff point. It's at what like, point, so, at yeah, what point is the so state almost, responsible for making It's a catch-22. Right. It so it's it, almost it, like, well, you know what? I can't do better because mm-hmm. as soon as I attempt to do better, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm fucking stuck. Yeah, you're yeah, stuck. Yeah, but then also at the same time, that forces you to be in the Dell. Like, look, at the end of the day, be accountable. Like, you got to make your own money. The state can't always take care of you. Like, you got these kids. You took, you made these kids. Now, here you are. Go get your own house. Go get your own car and all the other stuff. Stop relying on the state because at the end of the day, it's like, okay, then what? When you when you become elderly, where you going to live then? It's going. It's the well, same. And what she exactly what she was talking about. It's the same cycle. Now they're living yeah. in the senior places, which, which is from crazy. the people with the same poverty mindset. Some there too. Yeah, they've been on the food stamps and they've been in Section Eight all their life. Now they in the fifty five and up. And or I get it. And I and get it. Like, it's you know, all the same cycle. They're right. like, oh, well, when I get my stamps, and you know they can't. <laughs> yeah, you know they crazy. can't get make more hey. money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, see, see, <laughs> see, she just perpetuating, yeah. perpetuating hey, poverty, hey, y'all. Hey, yeah. hey. I mean, that, but that's what happens. The, 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 the poverty lifestyle and life cycle just keeps going. You know, the, the, the people, yeah. the folks with the money, they they plan for the next one hundred years. This is what I. This is people, what I. People think in the poverty the mindset state, plan for Saturday. This yeah. is what I think the state mm-hmm. should do. Like at the end of the day, instead of constantly auditing, you know, uh, making sure that you take these people off mm-hmm. the programs mm-hmm. hire more people 
to make sure that, okay, you know what? If you got these resources, make sure that people are actually utilizing them so these people can get off the assistance. I think that's what they really need to do right. because that's, it's like at the end idea. of the day, it's like they're just never going to improve their lives. Nah, nah. So, they're just never so, wait, so what did L Boogie say? L Boogie said everybody's not equipped to do better and can't handle the, the load of owning your own because the shit is stressful. I mean, it being is. a homeowner, it can be stressful. That's true. Uh, yeah, yeah I is. can say it. That shit Listen, is. I didn't experience the whole year of Murphy's Law with my darn house. <laughs> oh my this gosh. Year, okay. Being an adult in general is mm-hmm. stressful. It's always something coming at you left from left to right. But it's like, you know, if you have supports, you got support systems, you got friends, the, the right people in your corner, not just people that's just going to like gossip with you, but mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm, good, positive mm-hmm. people, they'll help you. Yeah, that but stuff. If, the, if all they friends from the project, they all think <laughs> they all the got that project way. mentality. Yep, they all think say? the same way. Yeah. Yep. All right, so, look, so let's go to the first comment. So first comment says crab legs this weekend and yeah. crab legs <laughs> in the club. Say it again, Give us your address. Crab legs. Crab legs this weekend. Yes. I'm on my way. Same as right, so, crab legs. So, so, so first comment says, I got on section eight at 31 mm-hmm. and I was a nurse by 33 off the program at 34. Yes, I used I it love well. It. I love it. Yes, you did use it well. Like we said, it right. is a tool. Leverage yeah. it to get where you need to go. They don't abuse it. Right. I love it. So which which tells you is she always had the elevation the mentality. mentality. Right, mm-hmm. right. But uh, most of the most of the folks don't. And I just want to let everybody know I'm not downplaying these type of state programs because yes, they are needed for, for people for various right. reasons. Mm-hmm. The issue is is people just get stuck. And, and they abuse it. And, and, it's a, it's abuse. It, yeah. And it, but 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 the system does you know doesn't really encourage people not being stuck. They want us not to, to stay as an underclass at the end of the day. Well, uh, so, I tell you, boy, yeah, you know I mean, so it's so, Let me listen. Let me take something. You know, uh, working yeah. in the financial space, people like um, you know, the biggest thing I do is personal credit and. These, these are the people that got the 500 credit scores and they can't do nothing. They can't go nowhere until yeah, they prove it. That's because they choose not to. Yeah, they choose not they choose to, but not it, to. it's hard to afford to do it too. Um, no, at times no, as well. not, no, not really because I be seeing a lot of these people, they use their money on what they want. On what they want, yes, that's so true. Are, 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 are you trying say, to, they use it for like big man, TVs? And, yeah, yeah and they Jordans, do. For real, they do. Air Jordans, yeah, all, I, some bullshit. Are you serious? Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Don't get me wrong. I know the game, but there you know are the people, game. I know the game. But it's people seriously out here working. We call them the working poor. You know, mm. they 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 work, they get up, they do their nine to five every day, just like you, and they can't afford to do stuff. Period. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna sit here and act like I like that. Don't, don't exist because yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. ain't that something? So, comment number two. Comment number Slide two. Name with comment number two. Yeah, Jalil over here acting up. Even folks What'd he on say? top <laughs> even can butter. come back down and need it, ma'am. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Damn. That's, yeah, that's true. true. Say it again. And Say it again. Wait a minute. Look. I'm, about to, I'm about to drop something real quick, though. So we got some other type of folks that know how to play the system as well. Oh, yeah. Where oh, they, yeah. Where their family mm. got money, but... And still out of work. But their, work their, their money system? don't run through their social security numbers. So... They run them in other, they run their money and everything, their businesses and everything. They lock it up in other yeah, spots. So where, when it comes to, oh, your personal finances, oh, oh, oh I only make minimum wage, <laughs> but for real, for real. Hey, So, so what are you saying? Hey, that's, that's, <laughs> so, uh, that's after the show. That's, 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 that's after yeah, the show, guys. That's, that's the Sorry, kind of, that's we can't share that part with y'all, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, just share that with us. You oh, said, uh, you, yeah. you said, they don't, they don't run through the personal oh, no, finances, the money, right? The money, don't, the, the money don't go through the social security, which, tr- mm, 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 look at that. Yeah, mm, 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 it ain't ran through their social security number. I'll say it like hey, that. Hey, listen. So what you gonna, saying? I need me a, a, another on. social security number? Wait, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no. Wait, wait, now, we going to talk at this no, show. I don't talk about illegal things now. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> She's like, so don't get me in trouble. No, no, here's the thing. Because I, I see people all the time with social media 
advocating for that type of thing. And that Get will the fuck out and of that will land you in media? jail. Yeah. Oh, I ain't going to jail. Never mind. You can keep. You, I don't Listen, want honey, I worked on state road. You jail ain't where you want to be. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm I'm too old to be taking people mm-hmm. booty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, because you ain't getting so, took. Uh, so yeah. 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 Yeah